Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope and I'm praying that every one of you is keeping well. In today's video, we are going to talk and discuss about witchcraft. Well, according to the word of God, which is the Holy Bible, witchcraft is a religion of fallen humanity. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. 1 Samuel 15, 23. That is the proof of rebellion. The word of God says witchcraft is rebellion and it's against against him you know sometimes you are sick or the family members or anybody is more successful than you are and you feel jealous or envy and uh, you think of learning things like witchcraft or going to a witch or somebody who knows this kind of sorcery or something like that that is not a solution guys i have known personally a lot of people including i have heard a lot of stories and i have known some people who have been into these things which have caused them harm i mean if you are a believer in christ or in god why do you want your own power to help people help people by loving them by showing them the word of god asking them to read the bible not by using such things which is against god it is totally against god's will witchcraft divination let's say psychic yoga these things are attracting the demons there are ways of enchantments they use these things like tarot card reading there is witchcraft tarot card reading and psychic and uh, uh, sorcery and uh, there is no such thing as white christian witchcraft and black black witch or black witch or black witchcraft i don't know there shouldn't be any sort of witchcraft according to the word of god now if you are a new believer or you are a catholic or a christian and you say that I am a Christian witch. I think you go. I mean, I think you need to go ahead and read your Bible again, because it clearly states in First Samuel twenty eight three, Deuteronomy eighteen ten to twelve, Leviticus nineteen to thirty one, Leviticus twenty to twenty seven, First Samuel twenty eight to seven, and First Samuel twenty eight eight to eleven. Well, there are so many Bible verses that's related to sorcery and witchcraft. It is not a good answer or a real thing to do by envying on somebody and putting spells on somebody's life. That's not that's that's not what our God wants. I clearly remember the Bible says our Lord is a jealous God. You cannot serve two masters. If you believe in God and then you still decide to use this kind of things for your happiness or for taking revenge, then you basically you don't have faith in God. So I understand there are so many cultures and religions that do ex that does accept this kind of things. But if you are a believer, I would highly recommend and request you to stop all kind of these things. And if you don't want to listen to me, don't read the Bible. I've always said in all of my videos that whatever I'm talking about, it's according to the word of God, which is the Bible. I don't just talk because I like talking. It means what it means and what it is. So if you read the story of Saul, he obtained help from a witch to try to communicate with the spirit of Samuel. So Samuel was a prophet and Saul was a king. When he had problems in army and all those things that were going on, he was in deep trouble. He was confused and he wanted to contact the prophet Samuel. And he went to the witch and the witch tried to disguise him in one way or the other. And we are not sure that the spirit that showed up was really of prophet Samuel or was it the demons because one, once you're dead you're unconscious you sleep and you are awake until the second coming of Christ according to his word in according to his word in revelations so basically witchcraft is a fallen fallen religion it's a fallen humanity that means things with the gentile sacrifice they sacrifice to demons and not to God and I do not want you to have a fellowship with demons. 1 Corinthians 10, 20. It clearly states sorcery, witchcraft is totally association with demons. Now, if you guys don't want to believe what I am saying, please open your Bibles and read it carefully. And I'm so glad that we have something like um, social media, YouTube, that helps to even learn more of this kind of things so do your homework guys don't just do things because you're happy or you want peace or you want to take revenge well today's generation is going to tell you do what you want life is too short leave it but hey you can you are not your own creator believe in the creator who created you believe in his words 
It's against the will of God. It's all demonic. Psychics, tarot card readings. First of all, why do they even have to do such businesses? If those things were making, making them rich or giving them pleasure and peace, why are people in trouble? Why they don't have money? Why do they have to downgrade their professions and leave other kind of works and jobs and go to this stage of doing sorceries and witchcraft? Well, if you are one of the witches or a person who does this thing, I pray, I pray for you right now, right here in the name of Jesus, that he guides you and he touches your heart. And if anybody have ever done anything to me, my family or anyone that I've known, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ that you need to stop this. Turn away from your sins. Repent. Repent is change. Bring the change in your life. Now, I'm not saying because I read the Bible and I come and share with you the word of God or preach, whatever you call it. I'm not saying I'm 100% holy, though God wants us to be holy if you want to follow him. But at least I know the answers and I'm trying to tell you guys that, listen guys, this thing is wrong. I also have sinned a lot in my life. Before I used to go to job or at work, I used to check in the morning the horoscopes, like literally why, how, why, how does that make any sense? You know, I, we could go to the temples and mosques and church and priests and everything and we ask for blessings and prayer, yet we just believe in this demonic stuff. So I used to read the horoscopes in the morning and see what is all about my future, how my day is going to be ahead. There were people and priests from different places coming at our places or temples and they would read the palms and tell you your future and everything what's the need you are trying to say that this people and their sorceries and witchcraft has more power than the almighty god well we can do anything we want in this world because we have a gift of god called free will if you have free will you can go in any path you want you can choose a path of heaven or you can choose a path of hell it's up to you but as a disciple of God or as a priesthood, as a preacher or as a person who loves God and reads his word, it is my duty to share with you what is wrong and what is right. But it's your duty. It's your duty to decide which path you want to walk on. For those people who are depressed and saying that, oh, you have no idea what you're talking about. Witchcraft have given me so much peace and I got everything I need. Here's my answer. Seek the Lord while he may be found instead of awakening the dead spirits or demons that's also in the bible that's the word of god you have to seek the lord while he may be found don't go to such kind of people or mediums it's also called the mediums you don't need such kind of things guys trust me now i might sound rude and i know for so many people they're going to end up commenting rude things down here but yoga halloween tarot card reading psychic horoscopes, this all things are related to witchcraft. These are mediums. These are ways through you, you go through and you try to connect or contact the spirit, the spirit realm. It is real, guys. We're not here just talking about some fun horror movie stories. No, everything that I'm talking about, it's according to the word of God. I have all the listed verses over here and you can go ahead and check, open your Bibles. Now, let's see what does the Bible tell us about the sorcery and witchcraft. First Samuel 28, 7 to verse 14 says, Saul seeks, for, Saul seeks for a witch to help him. Then said Saul unto his servant, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went. And two men with him, and they came to the woman by night. And he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by my, by the familiar spirit, and bring me him up, whom I shall name unto thee. And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul had done, how he had cut off those that have familiar spirits, and the wizards out of the land. Wherefore, then layest thou a snare for my family, for my life, to cause me to die? And Saul swear to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment be happened to thee for this thing. 
Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up to thee? So as you guys can see in this first Samuel, uh, chapter 28, verse 7 to 14. This is a short story of Saul going to a witch or seeking a witch for the help of making him talk to the spirit of Samuel the prophet. So this is just a story of how he found her and what he asked her to do and what she saw. Leviticus, the book of Leviticus also talks about sorcery. You can see Leviticus 19 chapter 19 verse 31 says regard not them that have familiar spirits neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them i am the lord your god so it's clearly written over here that you should not ever have familiar spirits neither seek after wizards again the book of leviticus um, chapter 20 verse 27 says a man also or a woman that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones, their blood shall be upon them. So actually on those days, people were allowed to stone the wizards or the witches. That's how bad this thing is. In the book of Kings, 1 Kings 22, 1 Kings chapter 22, verse 21 to 23 says, and there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Now therefore behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets. And the Lord had spoken evil concerning thee. Again, the book of Exodus, chapter 9, verse 5. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything, neither have they any more a, re any more a reward. For the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more apportioned forever in anything that is done under the sun. So you can already see here, the Bible says that the dead has completely forgotten their memory and, their, and they know nothing. So as you guys can see, there's so many warnings and proofs we have through the story of Saul and Samuel and going further in notations and everywhere we can see it's written clearly that sorcery, witchcraft and mediums are not the right way and it's grieving the Holy Ghost. God does not like these things. That's why he says he's a jealous God. So we need to look into these things before we do anything in our lives. And always remember, people who are doing wrong things, the devil is not going to go behind them and bug them because the devil knows that they're already on a wrong path. So they're going to give them maybe short time peace or happiness. But people who are reading the word of God, who are uprooted in God, who are trying to know the, the will of God, they will have sickness like Job had to suffer because that was testing of his faith. So guys, don't lean on your own understanding. Seek God and his will be done. Seek him and he will show you his path. The book of Hosea chapter 4, 6 says that my people perish because of the lack of knowledge. And that is so true. We don't have enough knowledge about the word of God and we don't want to take tip into reading the Bible. But we want to do everything else that is against the word, the word of God. And that's what the devil wants. Remember, Satan is here to steal, kill and destroy. He will do anything he can to appear good unto you or others, to look nice or make other things look nicer to you. But he will always make sure you not to read the Bible and follow what's in here. So guys, you know, before you get engaged in all this kind of voodoo and witchcraft and all those things, read the word of God and he's going to guide you. Remember, you are not the creator. You're just a mere human being. Yes, you're precious in, in the eyes of God. That's why he keeps on forgiving us and loving us and showing us the right path. 
but all this beautiful nature outside and all those things around us, the birds, the animals, everything that we have, which is amazing. You think it was a science? Do you think it was just created like that for fun or just all of a sudden it just happened in the twinkle of an eye? No, it was created by the creator, our Lord, our God, our savior. So if you read the Holy Bible, you will find a lot of things that will teach you the way of life. Whatever you're doing could be wrong, could be a sin. You need to come out of it. You need to repent and turn away from your wicked ways. Repenting simply means changing from your wicked ways. Now, I'm not saying that I never did horoscopes. I did all these things. I have sinned a lot and that's the reason I'm blessed that I found the truth of God. I feel so blessed that I get chance, I get time to read all this. And it's not about I, it's not about me. It's he who is on the throne has called me. So guys, here is the answer. Before you judge, before you comment, before you get upset, I'm not your enemy. If you right now, if you are doing witchcraft or you're a witch or something, listen, I don't know you and I'm not your enemy. But I know one thing, that God is a living God and he has his rules and he says clearly in these things. A lot of people would say you are saved by grace. That is true, absolutely true. But the word of God is eternal. It doesn't change. That doesn't mean that you can keep on doing your wicked ways and you, at the end, during the judgment time, you're going to get what you want. You can't be going to the heaven while the word of God says this is against his will and you keep on doing it and you repent and you say, oh, I've repented. And God loves me and I'm going to heaven. God is always forgiving. He died on the cross for me. So if this thing makes me happy, I'm continue to go and I'm going to continue doing it and he will accept me anyway. Then I'm sorry you're being deceived. Now I'm not saying stop living your life. Don't have fun. Don't go out. Don't do that. No, no. It is specifically about sorcery and witchcraft. And all those people who have done this to people, for revenge and envy and spells. Remember, there is a final judgment up there, God's judgment. You can run away from me or from the person you have done bad things to, but you cannot run away from the wrath of God, which is a final judgment. And I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm just saying the truth according to his word. Yes, he's loving, he's merciful, he forgives, but he also teaches. Remember one thing again, Jesus came on this earth as a human being in flesh, right? He is a God in flesh. He was a God in flesh. But he also came as a lawyer to warn us, to teach us, to tell us what is right and wrong, to show us the rules. And now in his second coming, it's going to be a judgment. He won't be having time for uh, showing mercy on you or saying yes and no and all that. It's, it's done. You guys, most of you people, you don't want to listen. You're so... Heart and heart, like Pharaoh, you, you just want to do what makes you happy. And I totally get it. I totally get it. Those people who have suffered or are suffering, you find peace, you meditation, this, that. You have all the time for all those things. Why don't you have time to read the word of God? You have time to watch YouTube, Netflix. You have time to do other things, shopping, cooking, fun. So simple as And it's as simple as that. Read the word of God and he'll guide your path. And right now, I want to thank you all for watching this video. And I really hope and pray all who, is watch, who has watched this video or is watching this video will be blessed and be touched by the Holy Spirit and guide you to do the right thing and not lean on your own understanding. And may our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ always shine his face upon you. Amen.